Good morning, dear students. Today, we wish to discuss evolute and involute. You can easily observe, I have written a lot. I tried to summarize everything. Try to understand, it is actually very easy. Concept is, I have a curve. This is independent variable, this, that is dependent variable. And I have a curve, A is the starting point, And B is the, maybe curve goes on. Let B and P are same as the P point is traveling, at that point B, coordinate of B is equal to coordinate of P, I draw a tangent, the tangent makes an angle psi with it, then I define AB equal to S and curvature at the point like your dy dx, it is defined as DDS of psi, DDS of psi, that means I am going to how the angle changes as the <coughs> S changes. Now, in this chapter, there are two cardinal concepts. Concept number one is the radius of curvature. Radius of curvature is rho. It is it can be proved. Derivation is not in the syllabus, but we can derive it in the class. Rho equal to 1 plus y square whole to the power 3 by 2 by y2 magnitude, where y1 is simply dy dx and y2 is simply d2y dx2. I must assume that y2 is not equal to 0. If I get a curve where y2 equal to 0, I must apply this. Here x1 equal to just the reverse in this case, x1 equal to dx dy and x2 is equal to d2x dy2. Obviously, I assume, take the magnitude in both cases, I also assume that x2 is not equal to 0. This is one aspect of deriving. This is called the radius of curvature. Second thing comes, circle center of curvature. <coughs> Sorry, x bar and y bar are the center of curvature. x minus y1, 1 plus 1 square by y2. Again, the same model, y2 is not equal to 0. And y bar is y plus 1 plus y square by y2. Again, y2 not equal to 0. If they are equal to 0, we can use the other formula. x bar equal to x plus 1 plus x1 square by x2, where x1 and x2 are defined above. y bar equal to 1 y minus x1, 1 plus x1 square by x2. Again, x2 is not equal to 0. This, is, this concept gives us radius of curvature concept and the secondary concept is center of curvature two things are done. Let us come to the third, evolute and involute. Let tau be a curve and see x bar y bar be the center of curvature, the way I have derived it here, of the curve tau at the point P. The locus of C as the point P moves along the curve is called the evolute of the curve tau. This is called, if tau one be the evolute of tau, then tau is the involute of tau one, just the inverse formula. But we will realize we can find out the evolute by taking the normal that is much more easy and taking the concept of envelope of the families. Let us do one problem which will help our basic understanding. I arrive it now. Let us take a curve, x equal to e to the power y. Question is find out the equation of the circle of curvature. That means x minus x bar whole square plus y minus y bar whole square equal to rho square. It means I have to find out x bar and y bar and then I have to put to get, as you know from class corner geometry, x minus alpha whole square plus y minus beta whole square equal to r square is the equation of a circle. Here the same thing, only alpha is replaced by x bar, beta is replaced by y bar and r is replaced by rho. Let us take a car, question is where it crosses the x axis. Find out the equation of the circle of curvature when it crosses the x axis. Let us try to plot it. This is y o x when y equal to 0, x equal to 1, 
x equal to 1, y equal to 0, x y increases, x increases, therefore the curve is like that. Has to be. This is the curve. <coughs> On that point, coordinate is 1, 0. I can find out among these two formulas, it is better to take this formula since it is first formula is x1 equal to dx dy, it is simply e to the power y, and x2 is simply d dy of dx dy. That means it is again d dy of e to the power y. That means e to the power y. <coughs> At this point, y equal to 0, its value is because I have to find out by the question where it crosses the x axis. Equation of the x axis is y equal to 0. This is the equation of x axis. Now, when I put y equal to 0, I realize e to the power 0, that is 1, and again x2, y equal to 0, that is again 1. Therefore, I can get a rho very easily, rho equal to 1, as I wrote on that part, right part of the board, 1 plus x1 square whole to the power 3 by 2, 1 plus x1 square whole to the power 3 by 2 by x2. That means rho equal to 2 to the power 3 by 2. I write this formula here. Rho equal to 2 to the power 3 by 2 and rub this thing which I do not need. x1, these daughters I need now only. x1 equal to 1, x2 equal to 1. I rub all letters and find out x bar y bar. Since I want to get equation of the circle of curvature, that means that I got rho, I have to find out x bar y bar. Let us try at that point. x bar is x minus or take that point, that is easy. x bar is x plus 1 plus x1 square, 1 plus 1 square by x2 means 1, x is 1 here at x equal to 1. Therefore, it gives me 1 plus 2 that is 3. y bar is simply y minus x1 1, 1 plus x1 square 1 square divided by x2, again 1, y at that point, the y equal to 0, that means y bar is simply minus 2, as easy, as simple like that. Now, I got x bar, I write it here. x bar is 3, y bar minus 2. I then do the problem very easily by using my this formula here. That is x minus x bar, that means 3 whole square plus y minus y bar, y plus 2 whole square equal to rho square, that is if I give a square of 2 to the power 3 by 2, it is 2 to the power 3, that means 8. I can easily, this is the therefore, the equation of the circle of curvature, x minus 3 whole square plus y plus 2 whole square equal to 8. It is rather easy. Now, I find out the wallet. Let us take a very simple curve. The name of the curve is parabola. Now, we want to find out the equation of evolute of the parabola y square equal to 4x. 
I am performing an easy method by which you can do it. Obviously, one method is you can find out the center of curvature and then illuminate x and y and then replace x bar by x and or by bar y. But that, but that is rather big. We can find out the equation of the normal at the point, parametric point. If I put x equal to 80 square, then y is equal to 280. These are called the parametric coordinates of the parabola. I can find out the equation of the normal. Normal is y minus y1 equal to m, m for normal must be like this, x minus x1. Now I can find out the equation of dy dx here. dy dx is simply dy dt and then dx dt. dy dt is 2a, dx dt is 2a t, therefore dy dx is simply 1 by t. Therefore, it will go up y minus 2a t minus t x minus a t square. Therefore, y plus t x equal to 2a t plus a t cube. This is the equation of the normal. At the point parametric coordinates a t square 2 a t. So easy. Now, we can find out the evaluate. If I want to find out the family, I differentiate this with respect to t. Then I get x is equal to 2 a plus 3 a t square. I can eliminate t and that is the evaluate. Therefore, from this equation t equal to x minus 2 a by 3 a whole to the power half. I am going to reject the negative sign. I now eliminate t between this and that. And if I do, I get y plus t x x minus 2 a by 3 a whole to the power half equal to 2 a t x minus 2 a by 3 a whole to the power half plus a t cube x minus 2 a by 3 a cube means 3 by 2. Thus, if I simplify this equation by using algebraic manipulation and using the algebra of 9 and 10 simply, the so cumbersome equation which looks like will be equal to simply y square equal to 4 by 27a x minus 2a whole cube. This is the equation of the evaluate. One important point is this. If I take this equal to y square, this equal to big X and this equal to B, I get this equation. This is called the simply semi-cubical parabola. Equations are like this f x equal to minus y is plus, equations are like this. Thus, that is very simple normal method and then eliminating the parameter, I can get very easily evaluate and in the case of a parabola, y square equal to 4 x. This again leads to the equation of semi-cubical parabola. More we will discuss in the class.